Grabe naman itong si Congressman Marcoleta para namang may mga ketong yung mga kasama mong Congressman dyan at ganun ganon ka nalang mandiri sa kanila. Lalong lalo na itong si Mr. Contemp Paduano. Panoorin natin to. Tanggalin natin yung sound ha. Sorry ha. Itadab na lang natin. Ikayo. Kayo. Malakas ako. 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 Ako lang ang may karapatang kumain ng kopya. Hindi kayo. Binigay nyo sa kanya eh. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Pansinin nyo na lang muna itong congressman na to. Eto. <laughs> hindi. Hindi ako. Baka mas matas nga yung sa akin eh. Oh, binigyan mo sa kanya eh. Hindi. Ito, ikaw, ikaw, nakita ko. Dinala mo ka doon eh. Opya to ko. Opya ang baboy yun eh. Hindi, hindi nga ako. Ikaw, binigyan mo sa kanya. <laughs> Eto na, tatayo na ito. Tatayo na ito. Sino ba yan? Hindi ko kilala pa comment na. Oh. Oh. Papaliwanag. Binigyan mo sa kanya. Tapos, kinuha mo sa akin. Pinagbangga mo yung toko at baboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh hawak hawak boom kita nyo yon kita nyo yon parang may ketong yung ano ha parang may sakit yung kasama mo congressman dyan eh oh ulit boom <laughs> grabe ka congressman marcoleta naman oh eto din sorry sorry ako po ako po ako po talagang kumuha ng hopya mo ikaw pala <clears throat> dyan ka nga <laughs> Anong binaribag eh? Anong ba ito? Nandidiri ka ba kung grits mo Margoleta? Hindi tingnan natin yun. Ang sarap eh. Oh. Lumaes ka. <laughs> May payakap-yakap pa. Ikaw kumuha eh. Ikaw pala kumuha ng hopya ko eh. Kayo nagtutulungan kayo dito ah. Yung hopya ko ha. Kung saan-saan nyo dinadala. Wala ka. Binigay mo sa kanya. Wala kayong hiya. <laughs> Sige alis na ako ha. Alis na ako. Bantayan mo yan. Alam ko kung sino kumuha ng hopya ko. <laughs> Itong yung mga yuk yuko lahat sila. Oh. Yuko, yuko, yuko. Franz Castro. Ah, ah, ah. Ngayon, ngayon, yuko. Mm. Sino ba yun? Si Adyong? Mm. Ngayon, meron pa akong ibang napansin. Meron isang congressman, dalawa, na patay mali siya. Kunwari may ginagawa kasi ayaw mabalibag ng mga batas na ibinabalibag ni congressman Marcoleta. <laughs> tingnan nyo tingnan nyo tingnan nyo hintayin 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 hmm. papaliwanag pa rin sa opya niya ayan ayan siya ang may gumuha okay mm -hmm. tatayo to tatayo ito ayan sino to sino yan Mr. Google anong ginagawa pansinin ninyo patay mali siya ang tarantado ah wala o oh, kunwari nagbabasa 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 Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ano kayong ibabalibag ko dito? Wala akong alam sa batas. Mag-google pa ako. Ayan, habang nakikipagtalo sa hopya si Marcoleta. Ayan, ayan, wala siyang ginagawa. Ayan, o. Oh. Oo, oh, o. Oh. Kunwari, basa-basa. Basa-basa lang. Sa buong ano yan, duration ng pagnanjan si Marcoleta. Ah, basa lang. Sige, paliwan ka sa hopya mo. Ako, basa lang ako dito, ha. Patay mali siya ako dito, ha. <laughs> patay mali siya, patay mali siya. Hmm. Lapit si Paduano. Oh, sorry po, sorry po. Okay, ito pa rin. Oh, na, na, ito rin, ito rin, ito rin. Iba, iba, iba rin ang gina. Oh, kunwari, patay mali siya. Oh, oh. Di ba? Di ba, wala. Parang walang nangyayari. Parang walang nangyayari. Hanggang sa pag-exit ni Marcoleta, ganun pa rin ang itsura nila. <laughs> Di ba? Sige, tingnan natin. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, alis na ako. Pantay mo yung hopya. Hmm, sige. Ito, oh, wala. Ayan. Hmm, sige. Yoko, mm, sabog kayong lahat. <laughs> Ngayon, sa mga hindi ho nakakaalam ng eksena, bago ito, kung bakit guman, umatake na naman si Marcoleta sa kanilang mga upuan, ito po yon kasi may punto talaga si Marcoleta. Panoorin natin. Chair, Mr. Chair. Congressman Marcoleta. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Before an action may be taken by the committee, may I know how the totality of evidence uh, was evaluated that merited the uh, contempt order by the chair. Congresswoman Castro. Mr. Chair, I'd like to... Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, may I'd I like answer? I'd like to the uh, yes, court, Mr. Chair. 
So, that in the case uh, of so, Pong, ang, ang ni Ms. Karen, this is Pong, Pong, a point of information, Mr. Okay. Chair. This yes. is something that has to do with Pong, the rights Congressman of the people. In the court. Congressman Marcoleta, let us, uh, the Chair recognizes Congressman, Congressman So, may I ask, Mr. Chair, proceed, Congressman uh, Mr. Chair, may I ask the action of the committee first on my motion, Mr. Chair, before we intervene? We will uh, rule on the okay. motion first. Okay. Uh, is there any second to the motion? Mr. Chair, may I be recognized, please? Julie seconded. Uh, is there any objection? Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair I, 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 I was carried. recognized Chair. earlier before any action may be taken by the court, uh, by, the, by the Chair. Why is it that I am not allowed to speak? Uh, Congressman Marcoleta, there is a pending motion. We just acted yes, as a pending motion Yes, but before that first. motion can be taken up, because this, this is about uh, the liberty of an individual. May I be may I be heard? Yes, you will be heard, Congressman Marcoleta. But uh, we just acted on the motion. Now, Congresswoman Castro, please, would you please answer the query of Congressman Marcoleta? I have not yet asked the question, Mr. Chair. Okay, I am continue. trying to explain my point. Please continue, Congressman Marcoleta. Because in the totality of evidence, as stated by Honorable Castro, there is an existing case, Mr. Chair. Ong versus Senate, GR number 257401, which says that the court ruled that the determination of whether a testimony was false or evasive requires an assessment of the totality of evidence presented to determine whether a witness speaks truthfully or merely trying to evade answering the question directly. So I am asking, Mr. Chair, how was the totality of evidence assessed, if ever it was assessed? Ano po yung pinagbatayan? I, I think we deserve to know how the assessment was made. This concerns the liberty of an individual under the Constitution. No one should be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. I think Attorney Lopez deserves to be heard. Ano po yung assessment na ginawa ng Chair o ng Committee? Kasi po, nais, ang, ang nabasa ko lang, o nakita ko, Mr. Chair, uh, Attorney Lopez wrote the COA explaining the position of the OBP that the audit observation memo is not conclusive. Which means, Mr. Chair, Attorney Lopez is merely explaining the nature of an audit observation memo. If I were the lawyer of uh, the OBP, I would have done the same. Because I think the very nature of the AOM, it is not final and executory, why would, why would the COA abdicate its mandate of auditing the transaction or the funds utilization of the OBP? Why would the committee, Mr. Chair, arrogate upon itself the very mandate and responsibility of the Commission on Audit? Article 9D, Section 2, Paragraph 1 of the 1987 Constitution, Mr. Chair, I will read. The Commission on Audit shall have the power, authority, and the duty to examine, audit, and settle all accounts pertaining to the revenue and receipts of and expenditures or uses of funds and property. Mr. Chair, this constitutional provision jibes with Section 25, Paragraph 2 of Presidential Decree 1445 or the State Audit Code of the Philippines, which says, to develop and implement a comprehensive audit program that shall encompass an examination of financial transactions, accounts, and reports, including evaluation of compliance with applicable laws and regulations. Meaning to say, Mr. Chair, the mandate and authority to audit accounts on the expenses or expenditures of government is only the COA. I believe, it is my respectful submission, Mr. Chair, that this committee usurp that particular mandate and that will now put the Commission on Audit positions in a compromise, Mr. Chair. How, we now, how will you now assess the authority the integrity and the, and the mandate, it is an independent constitutional body which mandate rests upon them. And I think the audit observation memo, Mr. Chair, is still under process by the committee, by the Commission on Audit. Why would we take that responsibility from the Commission on Audit? Why don't we allow the process to proceed and complete their investigation? I am raising a constitutional issue before this committee, Mr. Chair. We cannot arrogate upon ourselves the principal mandate reposed to the COA. It is the Constitution itself, which gave them that responsibility, that authority, and mandate. Where? Where in Article 7 of the Philippine Constitution, which is the grant of legislative power, can this committee arrogate upon itself that particular mandate? I would like that question to be answered, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Marcoleta. The Chair would like to recognize the Honorable Congressman Paduan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, just to clear it out with regards to the, the jurisprudence that's cited by the Honorable Marcoleta with regards to Ong versus Senate. That is true, no, that the, the resolution of the Supreme Court favors uh, Lincoln Ong, but, but that is a question of due process because Lincoln Ong was, at that time was cited in contempt. Now, question of, question of the case of... Uh, Mr. Chair, I directed the question to you. I am not yet finished my manifestation or answer to the query of 
The Honorable Marco Reta. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Please wait to be Congressman Marcolita, we can recognize. Mr. Chairman, I have all the right. The question was addressed to... Congressman uh, Marcolita, let me first recognize Congressman Paduano. Before you answer, before you recognize him, Congressman I Marcolita, deserve... you are out of order. I deserve, Mr. Chair, an answer. One minute suspension is declared by the Chair.